With one more win, Illinois basketball would become the 18th Division I basketball program to win 1,800 total games, only the 18th. To do so, though, they would have to beat a team they had only beaten three times since 2009. The Illini hosting the Purdue Boilermakers, who have won the last four meetings between the two schools back at the State Farm Center. This Allen Griffin three from the corner gave Illinois an 11 nothing lead to start the game. Then the best play of the game, in my opinion, Kofi Coburn off the loose ball from Andres Feliz right down the lane with authority. It was an eight-point Illini lead at that point. Then the three balls keep coming, unlike Thursday. Kipper Nichols hits a three from the corner. The Illini were up 14. Matt Painter and Purdue, they need a timeout. Then they go back to the big man. Trent Frazier lobs to Coburn. The lead was up to 15, 25. To 10. Then Frazier turning defense into offense off the loose ball. Actually, this is another three from Andres Feliz. He hits it to make it 32 to 17. It was 32 19 Illinois at the break. Here is the Trent Frazier steal on one end, layup on the other. Illinois up big at the break. More of the same in the second half. Georgie Bashanishvili hits a three from the top of the key. It was 37 23. The lead was a big at 16, but Purdue doesn't go away quietly. Eric Hunter Jr. hits the layup in the lane to cut the lead back down to single digits. But the Illini were resilient. Frazier with the drive splits the defense. The layup falls lead back up to double digits. And Illinois goes on to win it by 26, 63-37 over Purdue. Purdue shot 25% from the field. That is a school record low. But keep in mind, field goal percentage has not always been a recorded stat. There were a lot of games back in the early days where Purdue would only score 20 points. So 37, not a record low. Allen Griffin led the way with 16 points. Trent Frazier and Kofi Coburn and add 12 apiece. Let's head back out to the State Farm Center. That's where we find our Marley Weirda, who was courtside all game. Marley, the Illini hit their shots tonight. It was the Boilermakers that couldn't find anything. That Illinois defense was spectacular. Yeah, Craig, and it was quite a game for the Illini for nearly everyone involved from the bench to the starters. Everyone played a role. Everyone had an impact, and they proved that they can fire on all cylinders as they clinch a 26-point victory over the Boilermakers. Alan Griffin set the tone for an Illini victory. The sophomore led an off-the-bench effort, leading the team with 16 points and 12 rebounds. It paved the way for some big improvements for the Illini, who shot 45% from the field. You know, so that's my role, you know. I take pride in it, and some that helps, helps the team win, you know. I'm, I'm going to do whatever it takes to help the team win. I looked down, and he played 19 minutes, and, and I'm like, my goodness, you know what, I need him 25 to 30 minutes, uh, but I, I felt like he played that way, and he plays so hard. Uh, he's doing an elite job of running the floor. He's fine in his threes, and uh, he goes he goes to glass every time. And that energy and that that uh, is is what we look for coming in off the bench. The Illini ended a four-year drought, beating the Boilermakers for the first time since 2016. They held Purdue to just 25% shooting from the field, the worst ever in the history of Purdue basketball. The effort led by Trent Frazier proved the Illini can be a top competitor in the Big Ten on both sides of the ball. We've been doing that at the beginning of the season, kill, kill, kill. So, <clears throat> you know, we always take the defensive side personally. And tonight was one of our best nights tonight. And, uh, you know, it's great to have that, but, you know, we got to bring that same energy every night. Illinois is now one of 18 teams in Division I college basketball to reach 1,800 wins. Now, it's certainly a milestone worth celebrating, but the Illini are focused on the big picture. They proved they can get several Big Ten wins at home, but can they do it on the road? They'll have that chance next week against Wisconsin. Reporting live at the State Farm Center for your Illini Nation, Marley Weirda, WCIA. Three sports.